here's Cookie and her beautiful babies. They were born on April 28th, and she did a really good job, didn't really need any help, nursing everybody right away, like a real pro, and that was her first litter. She's out of Okibi, who was an amazing long-haired tortoiseshell that came from Switzerland, and the father of this litter is Kidlin's Corvette, a red classic tabby and white short-haired male. So in the litter, it feels like two of the cats might be long hairs, but I won't know for sure for a couple of weeks. They're all boys, and the first one is a red and white van. Really cute face. He'll even look better when his eyes are open. Perfect tails. They all have perfect tails, which is really surprising because this was a total outcross. And I'm hoping that because there's so much white on this kitty that he may end up with otter blue eyes like his mother. She has incredibly blue, Siamese blue eyes. And then we have the second one was a red and white van. And he's very cute, too. And he feels really, really soft, like he's going to be a long hair. And then we have the solid boys. Um, they all look to be the broken mackerel or red-spotted tabby. And I know you can't really tell in this light, but they have incredibly deep blue and deep red coloring. It's just amazing, and they have very pretty faces, and again, perfect tails, that's one. And number two, it looks like a spotted, red spotted tabby. No white, solid red spotted tabby, perfect little tail. Yes, you said you good mother. And then the third one is the red classic tabby. Goodness, he's so cute. Perfect tail. Deep red coloring. Oh my goodness, they're noisy too. Yeah, really amazing pattern. That's the first red classic tabby I've ever gotten out of two unrelated cats. That's pretty exciting. I mean, you can see from a distance how dark red they are. They're going to be really really pretty spectacular. You can see what a good mom Cookie is. Yes, you are. And she planned this little rendezvous. Her boyfriend broke out of the bedroom downstairs where he was living, and they met one afternoon while I was at the vet. I didn't even know it, but these sneaky little buggers planned their little rendezvous, and this is the result. And it's funny because it's a breeding I never would have done because Red and white and red and white only gives you red and whites, and I don't usually do those breedings because everybody wants me K's. But um, Mother Nature knew better than me on this and, give me, and gave me one of the most beautiful litters I've ever had. So it just goes to show Mother Nature knows best. And these two sneaky little devils, well, I need to fix the door in the downstairs bedroom because obviously it's escapable. Corvette was a little sneaky bugger. He somehow jiggled the door. That's a regular door until it got open. And when I came home from the vet, he and all his spade girlfriends were running the house. And Cookie had been out because she had been being taken to shows back in February. So I put everybody away and never thought anything of it. And then a couple of weeks ago, I realized Cookie was great with Kit. So that's the story. You did well. You did really well. You did good. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Let me take care of my kids now. Bye.